night viewers, I am Afisa Wandi from Forestry Hotline News bringing you the late news for today. Solusi Bangun Indonesia or SBI together with PT Unilever Indonesia and the DKI Jakarta Environmental Service DLH signed a cooperation agreement Wednesday 30 September 2020. The cooperation agreement was carried out the conf contact of managing and utilizing the Bantar Gebang Integrate West Managing Site TPST Bekasi West Java as an alternative fuel for refuse derived fuel. Therefore, effort to manage and utilize waste at the Bantar Gebang TPST requires support from various parties, including a government, go community, and industry player. It should be noted that the provincial government, Pemprov of DKI Jakarta, has been increasing trend every year. In fact, the capacity of Bantar Gebang TPST is expected to be full in 2021. And a lot so and a lot solution is needed to reduce the this waste pile. SBI manufacturing director Lilik Ungraharjo said the method of utilizing waste management is in the development of company innovation. It realizing sustainable development in Indonesia. Apart from that, we also want to provide long-term solution in overcoming the problem of domestic waste, which can have a positive impact on the environment and society. Sadly, like in a press release received by Compass.com, Wednesday 30 September 2020. Meanwhile, head of the LH, DK Jakarta, and Dono Wari said the that the signing of this cooperation agreement so the seriousness of the producer is taking a proactive and concerted step to support waste management. So, what is the waste management like? SBI conduct was research in the Bantar Gebang TPST in 2019 to use landfills as an alternative energy source to replace coal. As a result, the old pile of garbage allowed it to be turned into RDF by processing it first. Then, the process of converting waste into fuel include excavation and sieving and it sent to the SBI factory site in Narogong, West Java. To be top or a process of reducing moisture contact with a mixture of other material to produce RDF that meet quality standard for alternative fuels for cement factories. RDF product that will be produced from this initial project at at least 1,000 tons per month or 80 until 19, 90, 80 until 90 percent of which consists of plastic waste, which is used by HBI as alternative energy source. That's all the news for today. Check this out from forestryheadlandnews.com for the latest news update. I am Hafiz Awandi. Thank you for watching and happy good night.